Do you have what it takes to be a yarn bomber, a crochet tagger? What is yarn bombing? Think of it as a kinder, gentler form of street graffiti, only with yarn. It began in Austin, Texas in 2005 and spread from there. People came at night and knit sweaters on trees or statues or wrapped bike racks in yarn, creating an unexpected and serendipitous shock of color in a city or country landscape. Welcome to Yarn Bomb the Cam. We'll be yarn bombing the grounds of the Cameron Art Museum on March 16th in conjunction with the first Wilmington Faith and Values Cape Fear Spirit Quilt. Why yarn bombing? We want all of the different colors of yarn to represent the diversity of beliefs in the Cape Fear region. Isn't that sweet? But because yarn bombing is sort of an edgy, subversive sort of activity, we're going to subvert the subversive and share a few rules. Rule number one, yarn bomb with yarn, not toilet paper. Rule number two, no yarn in the pond. Or on any art inside the museum grounds. But do wrap yarn on trees, chairs, bike racks, get creative. Rule number three have fun.